I'm trying to breathe through. Trying to do the purge. Copy all. Just about a minute and a half now from touchdown at this point. All of the uh, prime recovery helicopters uh, in place around the landing zone ready to uh, touch down following the successful Soyuz landing. All terrain vehicles already on site for some time, uh, standing by. Just one minute now from landing. Looks beautiful. It's morning here. Copy, we are ready. I'll be standing by for your command. Unintelligible. Just great. We are ready. We are ready. Reported altitude right now for the craft, 900 meters. Coming from the search and recovery forces, as you can see on scene, the Russian Mi-8 helicopter circling the landing zone in preparation. The ground in sight. Now you can see the parachute coming down and the plume coming up from the soft landing engines. An unofficial landing time now at 9.31 p.m. Central Time. Uh, the three former Expedition 35 crew members returning to Earth. So at this point, the crew on the ground inside their Soyuz craft, the search and recovery teams can uh, finish uh, landing their helicopters and begin moving in. And once they arrive uh, at the landing site, they'll be able to uh, inspect the vehicle, uh, first checking its orientation, whether it landed upright or on its side. Uh, from, that, from there, they'll either uh, build a uh, extraction stand uh, if the vehicle is upright in order to uh, begin removing the crew, or if it's on its side, it'll be rolled over to open a side hatch uh, installed inside of the vehicle. And the recovery forces reporting that the Soyuz did land vertically. You can see uh, the first helicopters uh, beginning to arrive on site. First helicopter delivering uh, RSC Energia personnel who will uh, prepare the vehicle for the extraction of the crew. 
reporting reports coming through that the very first helo is indeed on the ground. As the vehicle is upright, they'll have to uh, construct a stand in order to uh, access and begin extracting the crew. Uh, Soyuz Commander Roman Romanenko will be extracted first. Meanwhile, while the crew is being extracted, uh, other landing team personnel will be erecting the medical tent about 100 yards away from the Soyuz craft. Uh, each of the crew will be carried out uh, of the craft and placed in uh, special seats where they'll be able to relax uh, before being moved over to that medical tent. Where they'll be able to change out of their SOCA launch and entry suits. Here, a view inside of the Russian Mission Control Center. You can see uh, written in Cyrillic there, yes, Pazatka, the Russian words for they've landed. Uh, confirmed a, a successful landing for this crew. Uh, soft land engines firing just on time, uh, landing the vehicle upright. Now we're standing by uh, as uh, the Russian uh, recovery forces in concert with. Uh, personnel from uh, NASA and the Canadian Space Agency move in uh, to begin extracting the crew from the Soyuz craft, uh, landing almost on the dot there uh, just to the uh, southeast of Jezka's gone.